So more and more of us are wondering, is this thing good enough to be your only camera? There's no denying that phones are pretty convenient. But in just three shots, I'll show you why a smartphone can't, and possibly never will, replace a standalone camera. I recently took a vacation in Paris, and as an experiment, took all of my photos twice. Once with an iPhone 6 Plus, and then a second time with the Samsung NX1, a breakthrough mirrorless camera with interchangeable lenses. Looking through my Paris photos, three things made the dedicated camera stand out. Let's start with what photographers call depth of field. This iPhone shot from the Notre Dame Cathedral is pretty epic, but the image is flat, and you can't really make out the expression of the gargoyle against the cityscape. In this version from the NX1 camera, the creature's skin and snarl are sharply resolved, while the Paris Vista behind him is in softer focus. Depth of field lets you control where your audience looks. Most cameras also do better shooting at night and in dark situations, like this restaurant. The iPhone shot is blotchy and hazy, while the NX1's version is rich and vibrant. Which would you rather pose for? Both of these benefits come from the fact that dedicated cameras have larger image sensors than smartphones. The NX1's is nearly 13 times the size of the one in the iPhone, allowing it to drink in more light. But a big sensor is only half the story. If you can't shoot the whole scene from where you're standing, a good lens will do it for you. Back atop Notre Dame, my favorite shot of the trip, this angel shushing a gargoyle, was only possible to get using a wide-angle lens on the NX1 camera. The iPhone could only get half the conversation. And if you're too far away, an iPhone lens won't help either. It made this park scene blurry, while the NX1 zoom lens crisply captured the moment. There is one area where smartphones win, spontaneity. This is another of my favorite photos from Paris, and it's an iPhone photo. By the time I hauled out the NX1, the moment had passed. So I'm not telling you to ditch your smartphone, but if you're a new parent, a globetrotting retiree, or anyone headed into a situation that means a lot, there's good reason to spend $500 or more on a new camera. What you lose in having to carry around more bulk, you gain back in the ability to turn your world into art.